My name is Carrie Ann Lloyd, and I'm here at Novos this week working on a project for feral cat management. And feral cats are free-ranging, unowned, or stray cats. Um, and at this point in the United States, we are up probably over 80 million feral cats, and they can be a problem to local communities where they become a nuisance. Um, they are a problem to wildlife populations because cats are very efficient predators. Um, they're very prolific, so they continue to reproduce all the time, very successfully in any environment. And uh, cats have also become concerned to public health experts, as there are a number of diseases that can be transferred from cats to people and also cats to wildlife. So since there's very little empirical data on cat management out there comparing different options and, and what different options might do to a cat population, uh, we've been working on a model to predict responses to alternative management options. So uh, one of the most common management options here in the United States is something called trap neuter release, where cats are captured, sterilized, and returned to the environment with the idea that over time the population will stabilize or even be reduced as there are fewer fertile cats in the population reproducing. Uh, so the idea of trap neuter release hasn't really been tested and it's never been compared against other management options like cat removal to see what happens to populations over time. And then additionally, we don't have any idea of what would happen to a population if there's no management for a long period of time. So I'm here at the Institute this week to get some feedback from expert ecological modelers and we're taking a look at some of the problems that the model had, fixing it up and uh, hoping to get some results by the end of the week and I intend for those results to be used by managers um, many different levels as this is a big issue across the United States now and uh, having something to predict responses of populations to the management options that, man that decision makers choose uh, will be very helpful in making these decisions in the first place and also what to expect out of their decisions. And so we're, everything from where to invest money to how wildlife will be affect affected by these, these management decisions. For more information about short-term visitors and how to become one, visit our website at www.nimbus.org.